What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And the video didn't even start yet. Y'all know this one's in it. I appreciate you anyway. CBS dropped a um an amazing documentary uh that came out years ago, way before I was even born. Uh, I believe 1986 called the uh the vanishing black family. Let me let me double check and make sure because I don't want to um misquote it. I'm sorry. The Vanishing Family, Crisis in Black America, right? It aired on CBS in like 1986. Uh, let's see. It was hosted by Bill Moyers, whoever that is. I don't know. Again, this is before my time, man. Um, and back then, get this. I'm, re I'm reading it now, actually. Um, the African-American family structure at that time was 60% of black children were born uh, into broken households, single parent households. Matter of fact, let me share. Look, what am I doing? Let me share a screen so y'all can read it yourself. So I don't want nobody, you know what I mean, getting mad at me. The Vanishing Family Crisis in Black America. So here it is, right? This, this, this is what I was reading. So back then, 60% in the 80s, 60% of Black kids was born into a single parent household. So the full interview is actually um an hour and 31 minutes long. Of course, I put... uh the documentary the link document to the documentary in the description so you guys can watch the full thing the uh part that i just want to talk about is maybe four or five minutes long um nominations writer guild of america war show oh, sorry, them. It, it, it won several awards um i've seen this documentary already a, a couple times it uh it talked a lot about uh some really really good things man and the main reasons why a lot uh, we are where we are today uh well back then and then while we are now why it, why i believe it's going to get worse before it gets better right um again like i said i think that this this video is only maybe like four minutes three four minutes long but we're gonna we're gonna get into it man because we we have a we have a lot to talk about man hold on none of you're married raise your hand if you would like to be married to your baby's father one <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you who don't plan to get married, why don't you plan to get married? I'd like to know that. You, you already have your child to think about and then a, a whole family to care, to care for. You know, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. And then you don't want the commitments. I don't want no man holding me down because I, I think I can make it as a single parent. But don't you think you might need help in raising that baby from a man? Not really. They don't need help because they know the government is going to help their ass. That's why. The government is going to give them food stamps and Section 8 housing and all this, that, and a third. And they had a simple agreement back then. Oh, you can't have men live with you if you want to continue to live here for free or, you know, li little to no damn payments per month. Father. My father wasn't in the home. So, you know, it, it really, male figures not substantially important in the family. Holding up father, no sex, my man. You know, if a girl, you know, she get having a baby, carrying a baby, hey, that's on her. You know, I'm not gonna stop my pleasures because of another woman. What about birth control? What about uh, condom? Ah, uh, girls don't like them things. They don't like them things. You know, I'll tell you to take them things off. They figure that you saying that they filthy or they dirty or something. Yes. And this is damn near 40 years ago. I told y'all before so many times, bro, if I had, if I had a dollar for every time a chick told me to take the condom off, I'd be able to get a two for 28 Applebee's, get a dessert, leave a generous, generous tip for the waitress. That's a fact. <laughs> With that being said, well, obviously what he's saying is wrong, man. I mean, I, I, of course, you're not supposed to be running around here getting random chicks pregnant and then leaving because you don't want it cramping your style or you don't want it. You, you want to avoid accountability. Oh, well, that's her fault. She didn't want to get pregnant. No, sir. You're the one that inserts yourself into her didn't use contraceptives and then got her pregnant. The hell is, what, what are you talking about? It's been a startling change in values. 25 years ago, you would not have heard such things said so freely because they were not embraced so widely. 
the strong family was still the backbone of black America, and three out of four children had both parents at home. That is true no longer. Most black children are now growing up without their fathers. The result is a world turned upside down as children copy what they see and repeat what they learn. LaDon said she didn't have a father in her home and doesn't think her children need one. She's not unusual. Half the black families today are headed only by a woman. Clorinda said she could make it on her own as a single parent. She has never been married and is raising her daughter without a man's help. She's not unusual. Today, nearly 60% of all black children are born out of wedlock. Timothy said his children are not his responsibility. He has left them to be supported by their mothers and welfare. He's not unusual either. Not unusual, but he's damn pathetic. Damn shame. Sorry, piss poor excuse of a man. Yeah, but he's still all those things. I really want CBS, the main reason why I'm doing this video, right? I would love for CBS to come out and do an update on all those uh, women and their children, if they're you know still alive. Because I'm sure you have, you can contact them. Because they look like they're in their early 20s. This was 40 years ago. So that would mean they're in their 60s right now. 50s, 60s. That will be an amazing video. Damn near 40 years later, that would be a crazy video. I would love for them to do something like that. Please do something like that, CBS. Get back in contact with all them people. The guy, too. I want to hear his damn mouth. I want to hear it from all of them and their kids. Because I can almost guarantee you all of those kids that with, with the girls um that's mentioned in this in this video, all of their kids, I'm not gonna say all, majority of their kids uh did the same damn thing. As far as, you know, if they have sons, you know, be be a poor excuse of a father, getting random chicks pregnant, and then the mothers uh having having random kids and trying to and trying to raise their raise their kids by themselves without the father being present. I would love for CBS, CBS to come back. Come back and, and, and do a recap on this damn 30, 40 years later. I would love that. For LaDon and Clorinda and Timothy, and many more like them in cities all over America, the traditional family no longer exists. It has vanished, and something new is taking its place. Single women and the children they're rearing alone are the fastest growing part of the black population. What becomes of the black family in a world where the values are being turned upside down? If the parent is 17 and 18, uneducated, unmotivated, fooling around, wandering around, what's the child going to learn? Who's to teach him? When you learn something, you was taught by your parents. It was reinforced by school and your neighbors, but it was taught by your parents. Well, if the parents don't know anything, how are they going to teach the children? So it's not racism that I'm fighting right now. It's the lack of motivation. It's, see, I'm not even talking about racism. Maybe later on we'll get back to that. But I think uh, we are destroying ourselves. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five women with kids. In the full documentary, they cover other families too. So I would love to see an update on all five of these women. All of these women are like younger. They're all younger than 25. If I, if I remember the documentary correctly, they're all younger than 25. Some of the girls in there were like 17, 16 years old. Add 40 years to that, that would mean she's only 56. Again, assuming that they're all alive, I would love for them, for CBS to do an updated video. I would love it. I would love that. And, you know, it's, it's really sad because this was in the late 80s, right? Back then, they were at nearly 60%. Now, we're over 70%. And I believe it's going to get worse before it gets better. I honestly believe it's going to get worse before it gets better. If black men don't stop with the same mentality as, as the other guy, well, that's not my responsibility. But you dumb as hell. Hitting all these damn chicks raw. I could have been in the same damn situation. It's just like he said. He's like, yo, these girls don't like using condoms. That's a fact. And they will do whatever they can to persuade you not to use one. 
But as long as you have what uh what what we call damn dick discipline, you gotta have dick discipline. Put that condom on, just not sleeper in general, but and put that damn condom on. Because again, like I said, I can almost guarantee you it's gonna get worse before it gets better. I'm hoping to, well, not hoping, I did break the cycle because I told you my, my parents had me when they was in high school. I broke that. Now, graduated high school, graduated college, finished my master's, still ain't got no kids yet. I'm not having any kids until I get married and until we are both in, in a position where I believe we're financially stable and secure. Then hell yeah, well, yeah, we can have kids, yeah. But until that happens, no. It's unfortunate. It's sad. I'm actually happy that they did this documentary 40 years ago, man, because it shows you how it's it's it shows you that it's it's getting worse. And just like he said, he said literally 25 years prior to that. This came out in 1926. So he said he's talking about in 1960s, 19 late, late 60s, mid 60s. Three out of four children was born into a, mar uh, a, a mother and father household where they were married. Only 20 years. Y'all see how stuff like that can flip? From being over 75% to being close to 60% in 20 years, what happened? I don't even want to get into details about all that. We, we can talk about it on, on another video because we already, you know, this, this video kind of going on a little bit, you know, closer, too long. But what happened? I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe y'all think differently, man. I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell symbol to anytime you upload, the notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all y'all comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man, y'all be safe for her, cuz.